In this video, we're using Lather Bros Summer 305 and the Razor Rock Game Changer Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back and welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today. We are using Lather Bros Summer 305, and this comes to you for $16.99 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a fair price of $4.24 an ounce. The scent on this is amazing. I love it. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Vetiver, lemongrass, neroli, pomegranate. It has a really nice fruity sort of scent. I absolutely love it. Scent strength is right at that medium level, which I also like. And I'm going to put the ingredients for you right there. This is a tallow based soap and I got a really nice lather with it with no problems whatsoever. Whipped up volume very quickly. It's been a while since we've used uh, Lather Brothers, but I'm looking forward to it today because I love the scent on this one. And by the way, I mentioned as always, I got this from the Razor Company. If you make an order with the Razor Company, please use promo code IMCDB and half of any proceeds I get uh, from that at least will go to gift cards for the channel. So thank you if you do. I really appreciate it. All right. The razor for today is the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84. And this is just a tremendous value. $54.99, all stainless steel, made in Canada. Terrific, smooth razor. I absolutely love it. And we look forward to using this today with a Nasset blade. And I also want to thank today our newest Patreon supporter, Dante. Thank you so much, Dante. I really appreciate you and all the Patreon supporters, as well as all the viewers at large. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, coming up this Friday on So Sharp David's Instagram, we'll be back for Real Talk Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope to see you there. We have some catching up to do, so I hope you'll join us live Friday night. All right, let's get into the shave, and we'll start with by misting the face here. And just this is just plain water, nothing special. I'll link all the products I'm using below for your convenience. The brush for today is the Razor Rock 400, or excuse me, not the Razor Rock 400, the PAA Switchback 400, and I have an AP Shave Co. Uh, Sinbad, not in here. And we have a nice lather here today, I think, with the with the lather bros, excuse me. <laughs> I can't speak already, that's a bad sign, right? A little bit tired this morning, but that's okay. We will persevere and push through it. I hope everything is going well for you all today, and you're having a wonderful Wonderful day. Oh man, this smells nice. If you like fruity type of scents, give this one a shot. It's very nice. And again, I got it at the Razor Company. Been a while since I tried the Lather Bros and when I saw Summer 305, I'm like, yeah, I want something summer, you know. I definitely want out of this winter. I know it. back at home, they are predicting uh, maybe some snow again. I'm like, it's April, Mother Nature, come on, give us a break. <laughs> no worries. No worries. We're here and we, we're not expecting any snow here in Charlotte. So we're just glad to not be enjoying any more winter weather because, you know, winter is not for me. All right. Let's set that aside and get going with our shave today. Cut that back just a little bit. And again, I hope you're all having a great day so far. And I hope to see you uh, Friday night for Real Talk. It's been a while. We have a lot of things to catch up on and... Uh, that should be fun. Don't forget it's on David's channel because the shave talk is now on my Instagram and the real talk is on David's. So I will link that below for you. Oh man, nice and smooth. I love this razor for that reason because for me, it's super nice and smooth. It's got some good efficiency to it, but it doesn't feel rough. When you're shaving, it should never ever under any circumstances feel rough. If it's rough, then check things out. Make sure the blade is in there right. Make sure you have a good serviceable blade. Roughness is something that you should never ever experience during your face. And if you have a straight razor and you have, you're feeling something rough, then that means maybe the edge isn't, you know, quite to your liking. So always make sure you're getting a nice smooth experience. And quite frankly, some blades 
are smoother than others. Some razors might provide for a smoother experience than others, so please keep that in mind. Be willing to change on the fly if necessary. You don't want to get a bad shave. It's not worth it. Pushing through a rough shave is just not worth it. Um, so change that blade out mid-shave if need be. I certainly have over the years a number of times. It should always be nice and smooth. Now some razors might be a little more blade feeling efficient than you like and that's not necessarily a problem with the razor or blade. Those razors may not match up with your preferences. That's entirely okay. But if something just feels off and rough, I suggest you, you stop and take a look at things and see if you can figure out why it's feeling so rough because this certainly does not. This is very smooth cutting very easily just the way I like it. And for the price, um, $54.99, just an incredible value, this razor. And it shaves very, very well uh, for me. I did have a gentleman the other day said the 0.84 was a little bit too much for him. That's okay. You can, you can get the 0.68 or maybe a carve A, B, something like that. Um, I would suggest that if you're new, you hold on to razors. Um, if you find something that's just too much for you, hold on to it. Because when I started out, I preferred mild. And then I sort of went up to medium and now I prefer a little more efficiency. And so you may too, or you may not, but keep it for a while. Come back to it after a few months and see what happens. Um, because a lot of times your first impressions when you're new, especially if a razor might change um, as you have, you know, some months or even a year under your belt. So hold on to it. Um, persevere. <laughs> you know, keep shaving with your other razors and then come back to it and see what happens. Many people come back to things and it's far better than the first time. So don't be quick to get rid of it. I know I was. That was a, a mistake that I made early on. If I didn't like something, I would get rid of it immediately. And I didn't realize at the time it was really me. It wasn't a razor. It was just my inexperience. And so uh, I got rid of a lot of razors I should have held on to early on for no good reason, quite frankly, that I wish I hadn't gotten rid of. Uh, as you learn and as your technique develops, your your uh, sort of the... Uh, the number of razors that you'll be able to use successfully will grow most likely. Now your preference might, you know, change a little bit or it can stay the same, but you'll be able to wield more tools in your kit. And some of the things that seem very menacing early on may not. So that's just a piece of advice for new folks. And I tell you, this Lather Bros um, soap today, it lathered really nice. It smells great. I'd say it's medium high at least. I've got it on my face now. It, it's got some good scent strength to it, so I'm, I'm not having to search for scent, which you know I like. I don't have to, you know, I, I love to be able to just enjoy the scent in the room, and this is definitely providing that. It's nice and bright. Just makes me, uh, makes me, makes me happy. All right, very nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I tell you, this soap might be an older formula, but as far as the way it's lathering, and the way it's working, no problem at all. I think um, some of the newer formulas of soap that have a million ingredients in it and butters, they're hard to build, they're a little bit harder to build volume with, but they go creamy quicker. Some of the older formulas will build volume slightly fluffy earlier, but you can whip them into a creamy lather, so it just depends on what you want. But I'm gonna tell you right now, this soap for me isn't lacking anything. Perfectly slick. I'm having no problems whatsoever. The scent is fantastic. It was very easy to lather. I would say it was a little fluffy at first, but it was very easy to get, you know, relatively creamy. So I'm very happy with this. And I love the scent, you know, as I've mentioned a couple of times now. It's very nice. Just a nice bright scent that, you know, bright, bright things tend to make me happy uh, in the morning, especially. And so this one is uh, just hitting the spot for me <laughs> and it's providing for a very nice shave. I have to say yesterday, I'll talk about this sp specifically, excuse me, on Real Talk, but yesterday uh, some friends of mine sent a gift for the family and I was just, I was blown away, honestly. Um, 
we were chatting at the moment, I had to turn my camera off. I was choked up. Uh, just that sort of thoughtfulness. Um, I'm used to giving a lot of things and, and trying to help people, but I'm not, I'm not as good as uh, receiving help or getting it. And oftentimes I don't know how to act. It just kind of throws me for a loop. And it was such a heartfelt and, um, uh, I know, it, it was a really wonderful thing. And I'm, I'm appreciative. Um, so thank you. Sorry about that. <sighs> Got choked up a little while. Like I said, I'm, um, I'm not so good at receiving things like that. So it was, a, I don't know, it was just a nice thing. Whew, okay, let me get back to the shade. Uh, all right, I can't be, I can't be a him hawing around here during my shave. I got to get this shave underway here. But anyway, I was very appreciative and it really, uh, it meant a lot. So thank you. All right. Very nice. Back to the shave here. Trying to trying to you know recompose myself. Um, uh, very good shave today. Very good soap. Very good razor. None of it's super overly priced. The brush is very good. Just a really nice experience overall. And I apologize for letting my emotions get the best of me there for a minute. It was just a, you know, sometimes you get touched by things and you sort of lose it. And I don't do that a lot, but um, it's been a it's been a rather tough ride, to be honest with you, in many different ways. And so, you know, that was just out of the blue, and it was just one of those things where it's just really nice to have friends like that, you know. And so, thank you, and um, all the support I've gotten from not only my close friends but from the viewers is just it really has meant a lot. I get so so many good vibes every day, and I can't thank you enough. So. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If there's ever a time where you think that uh, that guy doesn't appreciate it, don't feel that way because I do. Every single day I see those comments and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm blessed, you know. Despite everything that's going on, I have many blessings and I'm grateful and thankful. So I try to start my day out that way as well, just remaining grateful. And uh, sometimes I might get a little full of my full of myself but believe me I always have that thread of just being grateful and I really appreciate it so thank you all all right let me rinse we'll compose ourselves and then we'll come back and do the post stay tuned and all right we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum after using the alum there was no stinging so super smooth shave no nicks cuts creepers weepers irritation bubbles or troubles very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an awesome shave today with Lather Bros Summer 305. If you like fruity scents, get this one. It is absolutely terrific. I absolutely loved it. And don't forget, if you get it from the Razor Company, use promo code IMCDB and it helps the channel and also the viewers. So thank you if you do that. We also had an excellent shave today with the Razor Rock Game Changer. What a terrific value this razor is. $54.99, all stainless steel, made in Canada. It's one of the best values in traditional shaving as far as I'm concerned. Very, very good razor, especially at the price. We used our, uh, uh, what brush is this? Oh, PAA Switchback 400. And we have an AP Shave Co. Cashmere Knot in it. And it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug and we will finish off cam with the wet the face the quiet man complete with the floaties here and I hope you all have a great great day today remember folks do something nice for someone today shoot someone a smile open a door just do something nice and lift people up uh, I was lifted up yesterday and obviously during this video I was I was taken aback I lost my composure I apologize I've just sort of overcome because it, it has been uh, really, really hard. And uh, sometimes, you know, you get that lift and it's just, it, it's overwhelming. So thank you to my good friends. Um, and thank you to all of you. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.